Now, from where to start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now, bear with me. Is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking facility, such as a sawmill? It would have n numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient. A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there one aboard? Fantastic. A foundry with metalworking tools also has a number of applications. Is there anything we could fit the bill? There is a fully functioning foundry. You've got a quite well you've got quite a well furnished ship, Stella. And finally, the cornerstones of any curator's works: a mailbox. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic. Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked. I'll let you get to it. All right. So, what is left unchecked? Oh, request completed. Got it. Mm, okay, so we need... Oh, these are upgrades. Got it. Aluminum, marble, fire glow, spirit flower. Uh, and then fats for a tool's fried chicken. And then 30k glim. Wow. Okay. We still need the zip line. Fifty-eight, fifty-two, huh? We've got a lot of stuff to do. Let's um ooh, glim. Sorry. There we go. I have been playing a lot of Switch Terraria on the Switch, Nintendo Switch. And uh, the buttons are swapped, so I keep on pressing B when I'm trying to select things. Um... Uh -huh. Now that our pre uh, preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth re would require dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements. But it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably. Uh, as well as the waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe in a gift shop. <laughs> Though we might manage without one. What? A bit much. On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I have thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's go get it then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space, for it is both houses and works of art and is one. Architecture is, after all, expression of humanity's mastery over nature. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry, dude. I gotta get this. I gotta take this call. He's a windbag. All right, have you got all that written down? Oh no, it's a. S oh. Okay, I'm in a loop. I, I'm not seeing the prompt. Okay. Yeah, I totally didn't see the prompt there. Sorry about that. Well, if you insist, I'll let you get to it then. Alright. What are we doing here? We got Furugawa. I don't know why it says that... There's still a spirit there because we got Gustav from Furugawa, do we? I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Ooh, what's this? Let's find out. I should probably feed everyone. Oh, a tool. Let's give you something. Uh, we got pork chops. Cool. Who else we got? Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Are you mad at me, Peanut? 
Have I done something to offend you? No? Good. Feed me then. Pretty please, Bambina. I'm starving. Well, then, let me talk to you. Okay, well. No feeding for you. Let's give... Oh, um... Astrid likes plain food, right? Mm hmm. Hmm, Munchkin. Didn't you give me that recently? I don't mean to sound picky. Uh, yes I did, I guess. Fish curry, no, that's exotic. Oh, old-fashioned. Thank you, Munchkin. Oh! <laughs> Good morning. Uh, I did just feed you. But I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Food's done. Okay, so that makes bull boys, or however you say it. I guess I should fish some more. It's a bottle. Nice. I'll take it. What is that? Do you hear that, Stella? Is that music? And an organ? Uh -huh. And strings? How incredibly stirring. How dark and mysterious. Uh -huh. Oh, what a beauty. Stella, wouldn't you mind letting the music in? It would mean so much to me. Let the notes flow through you, Stella. Let this music strike straight at your heart. Um... He's just... Whoa! Whoa. What are these, like, bumblebee things? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I should be down here. I keep on messing up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh my gosh! This fitness gram pacer test is like <laughs> playing in my ear while I'm like trying to collect as many fire glows as I can. There we go. I've got a bunch of the red fire glows. Wow, I... Uh, <laughs> that is so satisfying to collect them all. I mean, I'm not collecting that much, but... That was cool. How many did I get? Fire glow seeds. 13 fire glow seeds.
Okay, so I didn't get them as like... Okay, so the, the red fire glow are the only ones that really stick around and you're in... Excuse me, in your inventory. Just testing again, you know, for science? Okay. <laughs> well, let me, let me finish watering these and I'll do the crunches. <sighs> nope. I wanted to stay in. Let's plant fire glow. Let's plant fire glow all, all, all throughout. I want to know what these are. Why would you plant, like, insects, right? I'm intrigued. Good morning. Good morning, Alice. Maybe fire glow or like chilies? Chili peppers? Hello. I think we're here. What do you have? Do you have marble? I do have chicken. Pear, cabbage. Who invented winter? Oh, hey, cool. Okay, so I only need two O balls. I, for some reason, thought it was three. Yay! <laughs> the cat. <laughs> hey! Okay. Hold up on the D-pad. Oh, that's cool. She's got like a harness and everything. Okay, so that is locked. Oops. You know, I wonder... In the Spirit Fair, we're... Kind of in like, 17, 1800s... Technology time. But all the spirits talk about, like, modern technology, modern cities, Chicago, um, you know. I don't actually remember all of the different parts of it. Everything that's been mentioned so far, but it's definitely modern. I think Gwen mentioned a lot of modern things. So I wonder why the spirit world is set back at this level of technology or, or time period, you know? Alright, now that we have the zipline, we can go do all kinds of zipline things. I got mail. It's probably the zipline blueprints. Uh, Nord Sea Pier? I'm pretty sure I couldn't get in until I ziplined up, so let's go there. So I need to fast travel again. There we go. Uh, letter. Dear valued customer, uh, for a special time, we're running a special promotion. It encloses a special blueprint, all a part of our Funtacular series, a zipline post. 
Zip through the air like a majestic, majestic bird. Albert, your local shipwright. I think that was his voice, right? I don't remember. Well, let's build it. Oh, I need marble for this? <sighs> Why would I need marble for a zipline post? Well done. You're ready and well equipped for the job. You did well, recruit. I'm happy to welcome you onto the team. Here you go. Have fun in there, maybe. That sounds odd. You are going into an abandoned mind, after all. Be careful. And also, always respect the job. I'm glad we came here because... I did not remember I needed to be here. And did not remember I needed all the upgrades to get in. There we go, that's a lot of marble. Nice. Hematite. Wow. This is a very long... Oh, it's just a way to get back up. Dang it. Well, let's expl explore the ground first. Nope. It's just a jumping puzzle. There we go. This is kind of tricky. Well, I'm glad I have so much marble because I really need a lot of it. Okay, so that... There was a hole in the ceiling there. I wonder if that's something we dropped through. Slate? Coal. Okay. Less useful. But I'll take it. And the marble? Oh! Oh! Back at the beginning. Oh, it really is just the end. Try one more thing to get up that ledge on the right. Nope. And is this the ledge? It is the ledge. Alright. I think we're done here. Perfect. We have a lot of marble now. So let's build... First, let's build Gustav's place. Well, let's move Alice's place down a little bit. And then we can build Gustav's place right in the... Right in the right side here. Perfect. Whoa! <laughs> you can make them really tall. So let's move a tools place just over a little bit, and then we can put... 
the beginning of the zip line. Oh, I like that so much. Hell yeah. Alright, so... Hey, that's so cool. I don't have to press A a million times. My thumb will love this. Fantastic. As usual, Stella, you accomplished your, uh, your end of the deal with gusto. And while I noticed that you disregarded much of my previous indications, what a great space you managed to put together. It will be much better than working the wor it will be a much better working environment than that noisy guest house. And as a plus, I can even move in so that I can entirely focus on my work. Oh, don't act surprised. I've only ever, ever felt home when surrounded by my work. Well, some might consider sleeping in their office a punishment. I actually look uh, I'm actually looking forward to it. I can't wait to fill up this empty space. How exciting. Do carry on. I'll gather my things and my thoughts and tell you when we're ready for the next step. Cool. Um. Stella! It just occurred to me, Stella. This ex exhibition I've been feverishly toiling towards. I've never really delved into any detail concerning it, have I? Well, allow me to enlighten you. As my assistant, it's the least I can do. As you are well aware of, I've organized my fair share of exhibitions throughout my life. One might even say that it was my career. Although I prefer to think of it as my vocation. What's the difference between a career and a vocation? Just a single job rather than a... A job, like a job history? But every single one of them, museum, private or public galleries, festivals, anti-fascist rallies, corporate tax schemes, uh -huh. living performances, every single one of them has been corrupted by base, obtuse, uh -huh. cretinous politics. The public is not ready for this one, Gustav. The artists slept with this one, and there's some bad blood. The queen has a preference for this tepid piece of art bourgeoisie. Uh, I've never, not even once, been allowed to reign, free reign over an exhibition. I've often thought to myself, Gustav, you'll be respected when you get older. No one would dare question your gusto. Your vocation equals calling? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I think I, I was taught a different... or limited um, meaning of the word then. Or maybe you're just thinking vocational school. But I don't know. Um, I don't really know what vocational school is. I just thought it was... Specialized training. Um, but then, well, you know what happened. When my body gave out and my legs became an obstinate, as obstinate as pieces of wood, the disease slowly creeping up until my features froze into a ridiculous grimace, I didn't mind all that. After all, the body is but a tool for the mind. And my mind has always been as clear as fresh spring water. No, what I loathed with this per was this perception others had of me. When you turn into a grotesque statue of yourself, people start treating you as furniture. All of this work, uh, all this work, all those years, the sacrifices, the humiliations, these suddenly lost all worth. I tried to keep up with my work, as you remember, and thanks to your help. But things were never quite as, never quite the same. Well, this time, it'll be different. This exhibition will be pure chaos. A maelstrom of artistic sensitivities, thrown together in defiance of all human laws to enforce this greatest message of transcendence through beauty. Yes, that's my goal now. And yours too, should you choose to keep helping me. I'm sure you will. Cool. Um. I found something you like, perhaps. Might like, perhaps. It's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddities. Now I can upgrade the field. See your cereal grow faster? Okay. Cool. Well, what do I need next? I've got... I need really need that rock crusher. Oh, I can build the windmill now. I think I'll put the windmill here just because it's out of the way. I don't want to rearrange anything right now. 
And just like that, I already need more marble. Okay, well, let's go check out the windmill. Hey, Hobbs. What's going on? Do you want through? Is he loves getting on our shoulder, just like sitting on the shoulder and just plop popping a squat. So thankfully I'm using a controller right now. And I can keep playing. So let's do that. If my controller would uh, recognize, please. Oh, you done already? Cool. Now he's literally sitting in front of the screen and just watching what's happening. He's following Stella around right now. No, he's trying to paw at Stella. I uh, I don't have cat cam right now, or else, or else I'd show you. I hope there's a zip line, uh, a zip line here. All right, go take a look. They should have it here. Get the nicest chocolate box you can see, not the cheap stuff. Um, <sighs> more money spent. Orchard seed sampler pack? Oof, no thank you. 30,000? I think that's for like end game stuff. How about selling? Where's my shellfish do again? Better than nothing. Um. Well, I have a hundred lightning in a bottle, and I think I have a ton of them. Or I can get them easily, and I don't really use them for anything, so I'm gonna sell a bunch. I don't know if this is a bad idea or not. No, can't hold it down. I'll sell it to 30. I'll keep 30. Cool. Wait, didn't I need to, like, power this up somehow? Nope, can't get up there. Beautiful, Bambina. Haha, -ha. I knew I could count on you. You're terrific, Bambina, you know that? Marvelous, exceptional, admirable. We don't deserve you. Nope, no one does. Okay, let's pack up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. I don't like that sarcasm, man. You wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. Uh, I'm just going to let you sit there for a while, because you know what? Oh. One ton soup, nice. I love one ton soup. Oh, it's the scared dude. It's the foreman. Uh, let's not give him glim. Let's give him chocolates. Thank you. Yes, she'll love it so much. 
Mm -hmm. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat, Bambina. Um... So I have 20k. So, uh, I had a stream the other day. I did a cooking stream. And, uh, my wife got elephant poop coffee. It's like poop coffee they feed the... to elephants. And then, uh, wash it hard, you know, and refine it and all that. It was interesting. You should go, uh, watch the YouTube, uh, the YouTube video I edited out of it. It's like eight minutes, so it's not that long. Eight or nine minutes. Uh, but the stream was like an hour and a half. Um, it was pretty good. It was fun. Peanut. I was thinking, and you know what? Just a chocolate box is nearly not enough for a lady of this caliber. But I know exactly who could compliment what could complement this gift. A nice bouquet of flowers. Vibrant, luscious roses. I know just where to pick some. Ambertown Park. Don't worry, I'll show you once we're there. It's a great idea, eh? It's definitely a great idea. Mm -hmm. And again, not a word. She will be completely surprised. I get the feeling he's not actually gathering this stuff for Astrid. He's gathering it for some floozy. <laughs> Someone he's cheating on her with. Because that's what he was doing, right? That's what we found her. Found him doing. It's no good. Oh, that mill looks impressive. Do you know what they call lo one lonely grain of corn in a tree? No guess. Acorn. BRB, apparently I don't have anything to make dinner. Yeah. That was us last week. <laughs> we finally went shopping on, like, Wednesday. Grocery shopping. Um... Oh wait, there's more upgrades? Oh, there's two more upgrades. Oh, I don't have uh, iron. I need to go back and make iron. So I need another spirit flower. So I will do the, the boat upgrade. Now let's go make the iron. Uh, okay. Expert. <gasps> I got the crusher! Wow, okay. I didn't know how close I was to getting that. I was... I should have gone there a long time ago. I've been able to buy that forever. Why am I so... silly? Chicken coop. Sheep's corral. Which I already have. I don't know why I'm looking at that. And a lounge. Okay. Zinc ingot, which I don't have. Okay, pulsar ingot, ash plank, and zinc ingot. Okay, so I... I don't have those. I don't know where to get those. Um, I'll have to look at that next time. 